A new study from Fred Hot James to learn more about how coronavirus spreads and who spreads it. King 5's Tony Black has more on what doctors say is a super spreader phenomenon. Phenomena that is in sharp contrast to what we see for other respiratory viruses like influenza. A new study says the coronavirus is most often transferred through super spreaders. And what I mean by that is that there are a, a relatively small but really important proportion of spreading events where one person infects 10 people or sometimes 50 people or sometimes 100 people. Yet, 80% of people with this virus don't infect anybody. Dr. Josh Schiffer from the Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center helped author the preliminary study. It shows the other 20% with the virus are highly contagious for one to two days, and it's usually before they show any symptoms or even know they have the virus. Doctors say a super spreader event can take off when a person who is at their peak is inside with a large group of people or around people not wearing a mask. In my opinion, it's bad timing. I, I even wonder that if this same person had showed up 24 hours later, that they couldn't have done it. You know, it has to be precisely when they're shedding at a very high viral load uh, that they end up in a crowd indoors. Doctors say droplets from the coronavirus also hang around longer compared to the flu and makes the individual responsibility of wearing a mask and avoiding large crowds important. I mean, the difference between areas in the world where they're controlling this and where they're not is very marginal. It's the average of human behaviors across everybody. So everybody needs to play their part. Tony Black, King 5 News.